for question number 39 we have studied the data given below showing the focal length of three concave mirrors so i have drawn three concave mirrors this is mirror a this is mirror b and this is mirror c with their respective focal length so pehle ki jo focal length hai wo 20 hai to ye nahi pehle ki focal length 40 cm ye hai principal focus second ki focal length hai 50 to ye second ki focal length hai 50 15 so focal length is the distance between the pole and the principal focus or third ki focal length jo hai wo 20 hai to ye hai f now in which of the above cases the mirror will form a diminished image so in case mirror ke agar aapne cases padhe hai to jab aapka object dur hai jitna सेंटर ऑफ कर्वेचर से दूर है उतनी छोटी इमेज बनेगी तो इसमें जो ऑब्जेक्ट डिस्टेंस जो है वो सबसे ज्यादा दूर पोल से जो है वो 45 सेंटीमीटर है तो उसकी इमेज उतनी ही डिमिनिश बनेगी तो पहले का जो आंसर है वो है मिरर ए तो जितना आपका ऑब्जेक्ट सेंटर ऑफ कर्वेचर से दूर होएगा उतनी इमेज छोटी होती जाएगी कंकेव में ओके okay. Now justify your answer. You can justify your answer by drawing this diagram or uh, you can say that as the object is placed beyond the center of the curvature. So if we have to justify or give the reason, we can write here that the answer for first is mirror A. You need not have to draw the diagram. Just write down that the image will be diminished in mirror A is the object is placed beyond the center of curvature. So object is placed beyond the center of curvature. So that's why the image, image is diminished beyond. So this is center of curvature and the object AB is placed beyond the center of curvature. I have drawn three cases for you so that you can take the screenshots or just watch them in case you're not able to understand so now the list two properties of the image form in case two so case two object is placed at 30 centimeters so 30 centimeter is twice the focal length two into focal length is 30 so that means object is at c so position of object is at center of curvature. The twice the focal length is at this center of distance of the pole from the center of curvature. This is C and position of object is at C. Now we have to list two properties of the image. So let's give the position of image. So we have to give two properties. So I am going to give the position and nature of the image. So position of the image is also at C. And size of image, let me list that as well. So size of image is equal to size of object. So I can write here, it's same size as that of object. So same size as that of object. Now, what will be the nature of the image? So I can also write the nature of the image. So the nature, because the image is formed by the actual intersection of the rays, so image is real. And we know that for real, it's always inverted in this case. So real and inverted. So these are the properties and you can list any uh, two, of, and two of these. So what is the nature and size of the image formed by mirror C? So let's go to mirror C. So this is mirror C. And we have to write down the nature and size of the image. Image. So, so you can see that the size of the image is enlarged. This is the image form A dash B dash. So size of the image is enlarged and it is formed behind the mirror. So this is the mirror and it's, it's this. This is the concave mirror and it's behind the mirror. So it's enlarged and nature. Nature is virtually direct because it's not formed by the actual intersection of rays so it's virtual and erect so enlarged virtual and erect is the nature and size of the image 
Now, you also ask that draw a ray diagram to justify your answer. So this is a ray diagram to justify your answer. I have just used the appropriate scale as for the focal length in the center of curvature. This is uh, the focal length and the object. The focal length is 20, 30 centimeter in the last case. The focal length is 30 centimeter and object distance is 20. So object is placed here. So this is A and this is B. So this is the object. So this is the optic distance U and this is the focal length 30 centimeters. So you can use this ray diagram and make sure to uh, give the direction of the rays. If the direction of the rays are not mapped, so you may lose half mark for that. 